and welcome back. I'm George Eliasson. Today we're going to discuss Joe Biden and his socialist attitude, um, putting people on welfare that shouldn't be there. This is the case of a little guy named Volodymyr Zelensky. Zelensky has been receiving so many stimulus checks and welfare checks and aid checks. I mean, where does this stop? Volodymyr Zelensky shut down the Druzhia pipeline that's going through Ukraine. Now, Russia sends oil to Hungary, Slovakia, the Czech Republic, and Croatia through it. And Ukraine and Zelensky receive transit fees. They don't actually even have to do anything. They just sit back and let the cash roll in. Sounds like a good deal, right? Wrong. If Zelensky's getting this money, he can't receive welfare benefits from the United States and the EU, can he? Last week, I caught wind of a story out of Kharkiv that a group called Kraken, which is an element of Zelensky's favorite neo-Nazi battle group, Azov, decided to take over the city market. When they set up shop, they were selling American javelins and other weapons. Well, they got into a little bit of a tiff with the security company. They rolled out the anti-tank weapons. They drove up in an armored personnel carrier. These things are supposed to be at the front line, right? No, they're at the market. There was a pitched battle for over an hour. Several people dead, another 17 were wounded. Europe's response to this, they're so scared that the European Commission recently announced the creation of a center to combat the smuggling of weapons, the trafficking of Ukrainian refugees, and the sale of drugs from Ukraine. Well, how would they be selling Ukrainian refugees? Prostitution, anyone? Slave labor? This is norm, the norm for Zelensky's Ukraine. This is part and parcel of what Biden's welfare to Vladimir Zelensky is paying for.